I started playing football at an early age, um, as young as I can remember. Um, my granddad was a big uh, football supporter, um, supported Liverpool, so I think he inspired me to love the game. Um, I knew nothing else really. To be honest with you, looking back, um, I probably didn't put enough effort into my, my education. Um, so I knew I wanted to be a footballer. Um, so I put that extra hard work into my training, um, just to prove some teachers who give me a hard time about not doing enough, um, and just to prove that you know I wanted to be, become a full-time footballer. Well, first of all, um, I was looking off to have a grass area at the top of our street, um, which me and my friends never left. Um, you know. After school, straight up to the grass area. The weekends, morning to night, we just never left the, the area. Um, just loved playing football. From there, I joined a team called uh, Murfield, um, who were from the city side. Um, so it was a big thing playing for them. We got to play matches every week. That was my first experience playing matches. From there, we got to go to tournaments in Belfast and travelled England. Um, after that, well, there was a few clubs and scouts that used to come to these tournaments. And I was lucky enough to get spotted by a few. So I ended up going to trials uh, at a few clubs. Um, from there, I ended up signing for Norwich City as a schoolboy. Um, I traveled over most weekends, they play matches, and then coming back and going back to school. Um, after that, I ended up signing for Peterborough United, um, where I signed as a, a YT. And I ended up staying there for uh, three years. Um, after spending three seasons at Peterborough, um, um, making my debut for the first team, uh, signing a professional contract and also representing uh, Northern Ireland and getting to travel um, around the world, um, playing various countries. I then left uh, Peterborough United and coming home, I signed for my home club uh, Derry City, um, where I spent a few seasons and was lucky enough to win uh, the league and also played in the Champions League preliminary rounds, uh, again getting to travel the world. Um, from Derry City, I uh, signed for Linfield FC in the Northern Irish Premiership. Um, massive club, great experience, was there for a couple of seasons. Um, after that, I ended up coming home and signing for my home club uh, as a chute. Um, lucky enough to uh, experience promotion and relegation with them. And I made over 250 appearances. Um, and just, it was a great club to be at. To be honest with you, um, all the clubs I, I was at, I just loved them. Um, Derry City, probably the biggest club in Ireland. Uh, League of Ireland, Lumfield, probably the biggest club in Northern Ireland. Um, and the Institute was just, just my club. So I loved the three of them, so I couldn't really pick. I know every young footballer there wants to be a full-time professional footballer, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way through injuries and just a little bit of bad luck. So just making sure, when I look back now at my time, um, I'd love to change um, how I looked at my education. I would have worked a lot harder at school. So make sure you, you have a good uh, education behind you. Um, work hard, keep on enjoying it, and things will take from there. Well, after playing, I think uh, being involved with football coaching is the next best thing. Um, you have all your experiences throughout football and the goods and the bads and you've taken all in experiences and now you can help young kids inspire to be what they the best they can be, taking all your experiences um, and helping them along the way. Um, I've been coaching now for I would say mm, close to 20 years. I am a fundamental coach which I would do in play groups and nursery schools. I'm also a schools coach, after schools coach. Uh, I work in the academy. Um, I'm a coach and manager of the a great successful 2008 um, team. Uh, my qualities as a coach would be most of all my experience. Um, I'm hard working. Um, I put a lot of energy into my coaching. Um, I try and make kids be the best they can be, but also have fun at the same time. First joined me in the city uh, all in years ago through Paul Key, who's a managing director at the club, um, and he was also my manager, stroke coach at Institute. And from then, I haven't looked back. 
Um, for me, we're the biggest organisation in the city who cater and care for everyone. At Maiden City, we're just not a club, we're a family. Um, we look after each other and we, all our programmes now cater from four-year-olds right up to adults. Um, we try and inspire young kids to be the best they can be, um, not just in football but in life in general, which is most important.